Rocktimus Prime here, back with another video. Now, I'm not usually one that sticks to the brand new hotness that's in the stores, mostly because nine times out of 10, my Walmart doesn't have it because our Walmart sucks. And the other reason is that nine times out of 10, I get easily distracted with older figures that I didn't end up checking out at the time because I thought they looked stupid. Case in point, Darkwing and Dreadwing. And I'm not a total G1-er. I think G1's okay, but it's time to give some other Transformers some love. But then when Big Bad Toy Store had the whole entire wave one, I went ahead and bloody bought it, didn't I? So let's take a look at Wheeljack. Now, what to say about Wheeljack? Cause he's there in the Generation 1 cartoon and he makes the Dinobots and he's the inventor and blah, 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 blah. As a toy, he really never stood a chance. The classic design looks sort of awkward and bulbous next to the new guy. And I can't speak for the G1 toy, but it looks kind of weird and like it has gorilla arms. And I hear this thing's a nightmare to get complete on eBay, so. Articulation on this guy is actually pretty sick. His head is on a ball joint, but it is very stiff side to side. And that's not because of this gun. This gun actually has no hamperage whatsoever. Is hamperage a word? The arms on this figure go forward and back and out to the side. But that's mainly for transformation, but it is there for articulation purposes. He does have a single joint here at the elbow. The whole arm also rotates but again, mainly for transformation. And it also rotates here at like the upper elbow. And then the wrist does swivel. He has a waist joint, a slight ab crunch, but that's mostly because of the waist. The legs go forward, uh, only that far, which isn't that far when you think about it. But it's mostly because this plastic piece is hitting on the upper torso. And it goes back that far. Also goes out, really far and it does swivel at the thigh and it bends at the knee just a single joint but it works and then you have toe articulation forward and back no real side to side but you can see the whole mechanism there it's just on two hinges now as for accessories the only thing he's packing is this little silver gun which i admit looks pretty cool is it like a missile launcher i don't know but it is rather cool and it is very evocative of the g1 boy Ooh, my battery's flashing. So moving on to some size comparisons. Here we have Earthrise Wheeljack with Classics Bumblebee. Here he is with Earthrise Cliff Jumper, who's a tiny little boy. Here he is with his Commander Optimus from Siege. So let's get on down to some transformation. Check out this rally car. Isn't it sweet? I love this car mode. It's so low to the ground, so thin, and so authentic to the way that it actually looked in real life. It doesn't really roll super well, but like it doesn't need to. It just sits there and looks awesome. As you can see, there's a bunch of those decals here on the side and on the top, and I don't know what this word means, but it's cool and it's here and it's styling. So for some size comparisons in vehicle mode, here he is with his classics incarnation. And I must admit, he didn't actually look this spangly out of the box. I had to get some repro labels, but as you can see, repro labels on this one versus no repro labels on this one. And he just looks so cool. I love, I love like the green flavors and stuff. But this one is, has a very much a modified vehicle mode look, like one of those supercars on like Fast and the Furious. But this one, rally car all the way. I like it a lot better. And here he is, for some reason, with classic Bumblebee. And here he is with Earthrise Cliff Jumper. Look how tiny this guy is. Oh, he's so small. And here he is with Voyager Prime. Now, this is obviously the Siege version, because I don't actually have the Earth mode, which I will get to in due time. So, Earthrise Wheeljack. You could do far worse. He's not going to change your mind or blow your mind or anything like that, but he is a nice little figure, very nicely detailed, and sort of gives you the whole where Earthrise is coming from aesthetic-wise. So, I say if you like Wheeljack, if you like Transformers, or if you like the Earth aesthetic, which is kind of why I picked this up, is because I just wanted a good Wheeljack to have in my collection. You could do far worse for, what is it, $22 now? Oh, these guys are expensive. Remember when they were 15? 
Oof. Anyway, guys, this has been Rocktimus Prime with Earthrise Wheeljack saying hope you guys have a great day, great night, whenever you're watching this. Take care, everybody.